I know this isn't a unique take, but I fell in love with Pokemon with the original anime series. And when I was a kid, I remember like early reception, I had the books with like the Pokedex entries, going through, just reading about every Pokemon, learning when they evolve, what items you need, best strategies, weaknesses. And that was a lot of fun to learn about as a kid and eventually getting to the reading age where I could read those little novels that are just novelizations of the anime. And of course, going to the local library, getting VHSs, re-watching these episodes again and again and again. So I've got a very soft spot for the original Pokemon series. I absolutely love it. And all of this was before I actually got into gaming. Uh, I got into Pokemon with Generation 3. Obviously went back to the original Pokemon games and played through Kanto and Fire Red and Leaf Green. But the early days of Pokemon for me were not including video games. And that's kind of weird to think about, especially today where I'm a massive gamer. I love Nintendo. I love just all games in general. And all of that sparked from Pokemon. So I've got a lot of respect and nostalgia held for this series. And no matter what they do with the current games, I've always got the last 20 years to look back on fondly and just really enjoy it. Actually, Pokemon's a lot older than 20. Yeah, it's coming up to 30. Is it not 30 already? No, 30 in Japan next year. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Because I remember the 20th uh, anniversary, they had that, um, they brought out that soundtrack, which was pretty cool, like all the Pokemon themes on it. And it only went up to like Diamond and Pearl. So that was a long time ago now. Jeez Louise. Makes me feel old. I am. I'm a 30 year old man, about to rank my favorite Pokemon in Generation 1. And I want to go back to Generation 1. Eventually, I might go through all the generations because I feel like there's a lot of great Pokemon in every generation of Pokemon, but especially Generation 1, very nostalgic. Even for me, especially like this is when I watched the Pokemon anime, I've got memories of Pokemon through the actual anime itself. Whereas I enjoy the Pokemon from, you know, I guess five and onwards, but I wasn't watching the, the anime then. So there's a special connection here for me, which is uh, pretty cool. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I've got the tier list here on the iPad. So let's jump into it and see what we think. So we've got the tiers here. We've got S to D rank and S will be my favorite Pokemon from generation one. This is gonna be the Pokemon that, you know, when I was a kid, if Pokemon were in real life, this is the ones that I want in my backyard, I want in my pocket, I'd want to be my partners in crime throughout the rest of my adventures in life. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if any of you guys played imaginary Pokemon, but embarrassingly, me and my friends did. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> As an adult, it's funny to look back on, but it's quite sweet. You know, we're, we're harmless kids. We're having fun. I don't have imagination anymore. It's either got to be in front of me or it's... Uh, it doesn't exist, I don't know. Do I believe in ghosts? I don't know. It's not relevant to this topic. <laughs> But uh, yes, S would be all-time favorites. A would be Pokemon I really like. B would be, yeah, I like them. C would be, oh, no, I don't, I'm not really fussed about them. And D can be the equivalent of um, putting them in the trash. You know, um, they're not gonna be hurt, but they will just be put in the trash. They'll literally be put on top, uh, just so I forget about them. And I'll never, <laughs> never have to put up with them ever again. So let's jump into it. We're gonna go Pokedex order here, starting off with Bulbasaur all the way to Mewtwo, which will be cool. And we're gonna ignore Mega Evolutions here as well because they are listed on this tier list. So uh, let's jump in with Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur, one of my favorite Pokemon. I love all of the starter Pokemon. So, you know, there's a massive amount of nostalgia. I gotta admit though, definitely behind the other starter Pokemon for me. So we're gonna put Bulbasaur in A. That's a pretty easy uh, ranking for me. Just Bulbasaur is an A, really like Bulbasaur. And I've got to admit, Ivasaur as well, probably A. We're gonna put Bulbasaur in A. Oh, sorry, Venus, no, not Venusaur. Ivasaur in A, because I think it's inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and onwards really sort of elevated my opinion of Ivasaur. Mainly because it's like, the, it's got a little bit of cuteness from Bulbasaur, but it's also got a bit of like, the angriness and coolness from Venusaur. So it's an A ranking for me. And I'm, I don't know, with Venusaur, I'm thinking B, I'm thinking B, because I like it significantly less than these other two. So we're gonna put Venusaur and B. I'm actually gonna put Ivasaur above Bulbasaur here. 
if I can. I can, yes. So, yeah, we're doing that. So, yeah, the middle evolution, very rare, but it's uh, <laughs> it's in there. I really, really quite enjoy Ivasaur. Next, we go Charmander. Charmander in the S tier. Love Charmander. He's just, uh, he's my favorite starter Pokemon in Generation 1. Absolutely love the little guy. I usually start with Charmander. My very first Kanto starter was Charmander, so good for him. Like him very much. Then we got Charmeleon. Charmeleon, I'm gonna put an A tier. And I'm gonna put it like in front of in front of Bulbasaur, but behind Ivasaur. It, it, I could honestly flip a coin between Ivasaur and Charmeleon. But I feel like out of the Venusaur line, I prefer Ivasaur, but out of the you know the char the Charmander line, definitely prefer the other two. So with that, Charizard S tier. I know that's a boring take. Everybody loves Charizard. And he is a little bit overblown, a little bit overrated at this point, but does it matter? Am I part of that overhyping? Yeah, I am a little bit. Is it because of the anime and how much character he had, you know, being a bit of an asshole to Ash? Maybe a little bit, but I always loved Charizard when I could actually get him when I got a copy of Fire Red. I was very excited to explore the Kanto region with Charizard and just a very powerful, reliable starter Pokemon. Great moves, great design. A little bit strange that he's not a dragon type. I know the Mega Evolution sort of went to address that, but a little bit strange in some ways, but I guess the balancing of what they originally did with red and blue, I guess it kind of makes sense. All right, we'll move on to Squirtle here, and Squirtle for me, I'm not sure where he fits in. I think he would be an A tier, and he would be above above Bulbasaur, definitely. Yeah, he'll, he'll, yeah, Bulbasaur would be above, above these Pokemon for me. So yeah, above Ivasaur as well. He'd be at the start of the A tier here. And um, I've always loved Bulbasaur. I remember I had a sheep. I called it Squirtle when I was a little kid. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't really. But uh, yeah, really love Squirtle. Um, Wartortle, not a fan of Wartortle. Gonna put him in the C category. And that's pure. I've got, one of my main memories of War Turtle is, it's just, it's the most forgettable for me personally out of like all of the just evolutions of the starters here. But I remember from like the poker app, I remember when I was a real little kid, I was scared of the point where it goes like, War Turtle, War Turtle. Like it, it just says in like a real aggressive tone and it, it, it put me off. And maybe that's led into my thirties where I'm sort of afraid of little War Turtle here. A little bit scary. Um, so, yeah, in the C category. I, I don't hate it, but it's, I don't think about Wartortle much. And we're gonna go Blastoise. We're gonna put him probably at the end of A, oh, at the end of A tier. And realistically, that's just a little bit above Venusaur. And I think Venusaur's down there for me because the times I've chosen Bulbasaur in a, a run of the original or um, Pyre Red Leaf Green, he's just always been the worst starter. He's always let me down. <laughs> I remember a run where I actually got rid of him from a party. I'm like, he's just not performing. He's not doing what I need him to do. So a little bit, a little bit frustrating there. Um, <laughs> especially compared to like Blastoise, which is like really great, real powerful Pokemon. But um, it doesn't really uh, do it for me compared to some of these others. Next up, we got Caterpie, and you know, just yeah, I guess what. He, he was the blueprint of what become like the typical weak bug Pokemon that evolved at like level eight and evolved again at level 10. And that's cool. And um, you know, it came a little bit boring, but to start off with, Caterpie is so cute. The episodes in the anime where Ash like, you know, tries to catch Caterpie and tries to help it accomplish its dream of evolving into Butterfree and the whole Butterfree arc, you know, from people who watch the original series is uh, very special. But even for me, when I was a kid, I got a sh Pokemon show bag from the local show and it came with like a, a Pokeball with a little soft toy inside. Some people got, I think it was Gengar or Ghastly or something. I remember some of my friends having that. I, I remember there being an Ivasaur one, um, but it was all randomly what you got in the show bag and I got Caterpie and Caterpie, at some point in my life was my favorite Pokemon of all time. I loved Caterpie. So Caterpie, 
actually S tier for me. I love Caterpie very much. Um, <laughs> don't, don't at me, I don't care. He's an S tier Pokemon, I love Caterpie. He's at the bottom of S, probably, let's be clear, compared to some of these others. But a really, really great Pokemon, so I love Caterpie. So cute, iconic, great arc in the anime. So hats off to Caterpie. Next up we've got Metapod. Metapod is C tier, I, I don't care much about Metapod. Um, it's, it's very funny, like in the, in the anime where Ash is versing the bug catcher and they're just doing the harden off. It's very funny, also when you're older, there's some other connotations that could make that funny as well. <laughs> but it, overall, he's a C tier Pokemon, you know. He's, he's just the, you know, the cocoon. Not literally, not the, not cocooner. <laughs> but he's the cocoon of, uh, you know, evolving into Butterfree. And Butterfree for me is A tier. I love Butterfree. Um, it could be a flip of the coin, what I prefer, Butterfree or Caterpie, but oh, we're gonna put Butterfree at top of A. In front of Squirtle. Love, I love these Pokemon. Really do. Then we got Weedle. Weedle's never really done much for me. C tier. Same with Kakuna, and honestly, Beedrill. I don't really care about Beedrill. Um, never really that great in the games. Always like a threat or a pest in the anime. So yeah, nah, not too fast about it. Now we got the Pidgey line, and Pidgey, dude, I, I, I really love Pidgey. I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put it in B, at the bottom of B, for now. Then Pidgeotto, great arc in the, in the anime. I'm gonna put Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgeotto. Just put Pidgeotto in A. Maybe the bottom of A there. Then we'll do Pidgeot. Pidgeot is a is a great Pokemon. I prefer Pidgeot over Blastoise. Yeah, Pidgeot's at the start of A, dude. I love Pidgeot. I all I like usually have one. I always enjoy having Pidgeot on my team, which is fantastic. So yeah, man, Pidgeot at the top of A. It could even be S, man. It could be. I don't know, it's, it's tricky. I'm gonna put an S, I love Pidgeot. I usually catch one in the Pokemon games, always have one, like, usually nickname it Ace. Don't know why, I just thought it was a cool name. I just <laughs> continued on, that on from when I was young. So Pidgeot's in S, cool, man. And then we got Rattata. Uh, Rattata, I'm gonna put it in C. It doesn't really do much for me. Same with Raticate, I don't really care about them. Um, Spiro, I care about it even less than these others. So I'm gonna put it in D. Uh, I know I said that's like trash material at the start, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's trash material. I'm gonna put Firo in C. A little bit higher. I, I played through once with Firo in Fire Red Leaf Green. I enjoyed it enough. Um, it was just like a little bit of a change from having a Pidgeot for once. Firo doesn't hold a candle to Pidgeot. Not at all. Here we go, Ekans and Arbok. Ekans, I think. I like Ekans, especially like, you know, a big part in the anime. James's part, oh, sorry, um, Jesse's partner Pokemon. I'm happy that. I'm happy to put it in, I've got War Turtle here, that like, throws things right off. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna put it in C tier. I'd put it above Raticate. Yeah, I'd put it like second in C tier. And Arbok, I might put just above, above Ekans. I, I, I enjoyed using Arbok in the game. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really float my boat either way. All right, so now we've got Pikachu and Raichu. Another boring answer here. Pikachu, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Love Pikachu. Pikachu's at the, <laughs> at the very top for now, at the top of S tier. I love Pikachu. And yes, I did go through a phase when I was a kid being like, oh look, Pikachu sucks. I hate Pikachu. You know, like, Everything was Pikachu this, Pikachu that. You get to the age with the Pokemon anime seeming a bit childish, you're trying to like act like you've grown up. It's like, oh, Pikachu sucks. But Pikachu, man, just a wonderful design. 
I really love his bright, vibrant yellow. Love like the cheeks, the just the sparkly personality. And uh, I don't know, Pikachu would be great. If I had a real life Pokemon, I would want exactly what Ash has, which was, which was like a, a nice, loyal little rat. <laughs> so love Pikachu, boring answer. Will it be at the top by the time I finish this tier list? Probably not, but dude, love Pikachu. There's no, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend. Uh, I'm a person who I'm not. I love Pikachu and he's uh, he's the mascot for a reason. Then we've got Raichu. I don't like Raichu anywhere near as much. Uh, probably, probably B tier. Um, above Pidgey, uh, yeah, probably start a B tier for me. Um, I really like Raichu, but yeah, just not quite as much. And that might have a bit to do with just not being as vol involved in the anime, not seeing it as much. Usually it's like the big angry Raichu who's gonna beat up Pikachu. Um, obviously the Lieutenant Surge, that episode of the original anime. And then there was an episode in the Diamond and Pearl arc as well where there was like a trainer with a strong Raichu and the exact same thing happened. So I don't know, maybe I'm a bit conditioned because of that, but I don't know. Sandshrew, I like Sandshrew. I'm gonna put him uh, at the end of B tier for now. And sl Sand Slash as well, I, I can put them together. I enjoy Sandshrew, I, I liked using them. They were like a f Leaf Green exclusive. So, you know, when I was playing Fire Red through, didn't always get a chance to use them, but I, I enjoy, I enjoy them. Don't have too much to say. There was the episode of Pokemon with like the guy who's trying to become a gym trainer and he has like the belt strapped onto Sandshrew and Sandshrew couldn't get, get out of a ball. I remember watching that. I think it was like episode three of the Pokemon anime, something like that, very early on. So, got good memories associated with that. We've got the Nidorina um, female lion. I can put these in, I can put these in C tier, I feel like. Where in C tier, I'm not sure. I'll put, I'll put them like behind Ekans. Nido Queen, I like Nido Queen, so I'll put her in B. And I, honestly, I'll do the same, same ranking for the, the male variant as well. Uh, Nido Reno and Nido King. Nido King, I could probably put the C tier. I don't like it as much as Nido Queen. I don't know, Nido King's probably, I like Nido King more than like Arbok and Ekans. So probably put them there. All right, so they're there. Um, with Clefairy and Clefable, these are also other Pokemon that I'm not really that fussed about. They can go into, into C tier. I like, I like them, but yeah, it just they don't float my boat that much. So we're gonna go, where are we gonna put this bad boy? C tier seems a little bit low, but I don't really know. I'm gonna put them in, yeah, C tier. I'm not, I'm not that. They don't really evoke much emotion in me. <laughs> so we'll put them. <laughs> it's harder than it needs to be, isn't it? Oh, maybe it should be in B tier if I'm really having this trouble. No. Well, actually, we're gonna go Clefairy B. Clefable, honestly, I don't like as much. It's just not as cute. It's a bit bigger. It's got a bit more going on. So that can be like after Ekans. Yeah, after Ekans. We'll split them up like that. All right, we got uh, Vulpix and Ninetales. I quite like these Pokemon. It seems like a solid B for me. I've never been like a big fan of using them in the games, but at the same time, nothing against them. Used them a couple of times throughout like main runs of uh, the Kanto games. Um, like the Alolan Ninetales, probably even prefer that design. And you know, that's playing off of this design and making it a nice type might be why that was so cool and made it stand out. But I like nine, I like these Pokemon more than what we've got here. So we've got Ninetales, put it honestly behind Venusaur here. And Volpix, Volpix just behind Pidgey. So we'll just split them up like that. Then we've got Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. I quite, I quite like Jigglypuff. Got a lot of personality to that thing. You can play it in Super Smash Brothers. And we're gonna put that behind Pidgey, just in front of Volpix. And then Wigglytuff. 
really tough, like a solid C for me. I don't really have too much thoughts about it. It's a similar situation to Pikachu, I think, where it's just like Jigglypuff gets so much more attention that it's hard to like really love Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff's just like a bit of an uglier, <laughs> bigger version of Jigglypuff. Uh, so it's, it's a solid C for me. And then we got Zubat and Golbat. Zubat for me, I reckon C. Then we'll go Golbat. See, I really love Golbat's evolution, Crobat. But that is uh, not an original 151, so we don't have to worry about that right now. I like, I, like, I don't know, we'll, we'll go C for Golbat as well. Just like looking at what I've got in B, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really live up to them. Uh, I like it more of a Cafable. I like it more than Arbok and Ekans. I probably like it more than Nido King too. So it's, yeah, it's very high up C, but just compared to these other ones, I'm like, eh, no, not really. And Zubat can stay probably. It can come up because it's it's not at the bottom of C. Probably Zubat would be like behind Ekans here, in front of Clefable. Yeah, cool. I like that. All right. So now we got Oddish. I really like Oddish. Oddish would be very high up. B or A? B and B, because yeah, I've got the start of B. I've got Raichu and Venusaur, and yeah, I don't like it more than them. I probably like Oddish more than Nine Tails, honestly. So let's let's check it above Nine Tails. Gloom, I quite like. I, I like Gloom because I like this whole evolution line. I used it quite a bit during the games. Um, just Vile Plume is actually really, really great with its typing. So we'll put Gloom after Oddish, and then we'll put honestly Vile Plume in Vile Plume in A. I, I like Vile Plume because um, I don't usually get choose Bulbasaur, so I don't have the, the Grass Poison on my team often. So usually it finds a place, and it's a Fire Red or Red exclusive. So it usually fits into my team really well in that respect. So let's put it in A. Above Pidgeotto? No, probably not. Probably at the bottom of A, realistically. So we'll put it there. Then we've got Paris and, Par and Parasect. I don't mind these Pokemon, they're fine. Yeah, <laughs> they're fine. They're in C tier, they don't evoke any hatred among me. Uh, or even, even B, I don't mind them. At the bottom of B, yeah, at the bottom. And I'll probably put Parasect above Paris. I like the whole sort of, uh, it's just weird sort of spawn, <laughs> the parasite that Parasect has on it. And uh, I actually think this was like the first episode of the anime I ever saw. I was in a motel room with my parents, don't know where we were going, but we didn't have Ozstar or cable TV when we were a kid, but they must have been in this motel room and on Cartoon Network or whatever it was, I just assumed that was the case. Uh, Pokemon was on and I remember seeing like, this really weird thing and it stood out to me being Parasect. So I've got a weird sort of memory <laughs> associated with uh, with Parasect and Paris. So yeah, B, I, I like it more than what I've got in C tier so far. Then we've got uh, Venonat and Venomoth. Venonat's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of, oh no, probably not B, I'm gonna go A. And A, I'm gonna put it, Behind War Turtle here, Venomoth don't really care about. It can it can go towards the bottom of C. Yeah. Where though would have put it? Put it above Cafable. Yeah, we will put it there above Cafable. Cafable seems to be a little indicator there, like <laughs> exactly where they put these Pokemon. Because afterwards I'm like, yeah, look, they're fine. Don't really care too much about them. And then we got Diglett and Doug Trio. Uh, yeah, these are these are weird, unique Pokemon. Uh, sort of like a, a big premise in the games where you can only find them in Diglett Cave, as well as like the anime episode. This is one that I watched a lot when I was a kid. So I put them at the towards the start of C. They're not a B candidate. I think I'll probably I put them behind Venonat in order to. I prefer Diglett. It's a really weird concept having Doug Trio. <laughs> Then we've got Meowth. Meowth is a 
is a B tier Pokemon. I like Meowth, it's stuck around for a long time. It's got plenty of regional forms as well. It's the main character in the anime series throughout the, the last few decades as well, being like a part of Team Rocket. I'll put it above, I'll put it in between Oddish and Gloom. That seems like a, yeah, that seems about right for me. Persian, Persian can go honestly at the end of C. I really don't care about Persian. And Psyduck, I like Psyduck, but it, it doesn't do a whole lot for me either. It's got a really funny personality. It's also like above what I've got in C tier here. So I'm gonna go at the bottom of B. That's pretty high up. I think Goldark's actually pretty cool as well. Um, really fun Pokemon to use in the games. Quite good. Um, no real place in the anime, but it's also like looking at like all of these different Pokemon, seeing the different designs, seeing what's possible. There isn't really that much like going for it so it's yeah it's not in b it's in it's in c for sure it would go what it would go <laughs> go in front of clefable once again i feel like because in front of clefable i got venomoth zubat ekans arbok nido king like those are those are front i prefer than Golduck, but other ones you know i don't so C ct is looking pretty packed actually Maybe we'll get into some of my favorites coming up. Looking looking at the rest of these, yes, that is the case. All right, then we go Mankey. I like Mankey. Yeah, towards the bottom of C. Yeah, it'll, it'll go behind, it'll go behind um, Psyduck for me, but it's Evolution Primate. Really like Primate. Not an A, not like a love it thing, but it would be, I'm gonna put it behind Venusaur actually. I always enjoy using one of these. The last time I played through a Kanto game, Let's Go Pikachu, had a Primeape on my team. So I really like that. Um, we got Growlithe and Arcanine. Growlithe, <sighs> love these Pokemon. Spoilers, while I'm just thinking, but Growlithe would be A. Is it above Squirtle? Is it above Butterfree? Yes, we'll, we'll do that. But Arcanine, or a Arcanine, however you want to pronounce it. I say Arcanine, but I understand why Arcanine makes sense. <laughs> um, that's an S tier Pokemon for me. Arcanine's just amazing. Uh, just the order. So I've got Pikachu, Charizard, Charmander, Caterpie, and Pidgeot. Honestly, I think be behind Charizard. Char Charmander, it'll be above that, above Caterpie. And then I'm gonna move Pidgeot here while I'm there too. So there, that's a good, that's good. <laughs> I like that. Got Poliwell and um, up to Poliwrath. I've got the middle, I'm just Poli, yeah, no. <laughs> completely blank. So yeah, Poliwag, Poliwell, Poliwrath, yes. I'm just, yeah, completely blank there. Um, I quite like Poly, Poliwell. It's funny because it took years to realize that its little red part was its mouth, not its nose. I thought its like mouth was like <laughs> just its swirl for whatever reason. Obviously, in the Pokedex, it does say that it's got a swirl on its belly, just like a real tadpole does. If you look on like a, on the belly of a tadpole, it's the swirl. It's just because its skin's so translucent that you can see its guts and its intestines. Um, but yeah, a long time I thought it was just a nose. But a very cute Pokemon. I've got to put it. I've got to put it in B, I think. So B, probably uh, just above uh, Jigglypuff. Oh, just, no, just behind Jigglypuff. Same with Poliwhirl B and B as well. I think they're all B and B. Um, Cause yeah, it's a great Pokemon to use. It's a cool design. It's, it's weird how, you know, it didn't evolve into a frog until generation two with a Politoed. But you know, I don't know. Poliwell. Poliwell is always a Pokemon that stood out to me so much as a kid. So I'll put that just above Poliwag there. Poliwrath would probably be my least, least favourite. I definitely prefer the cuteness of these other two. Um, but Poliwrath's pretty cool. So let's just let's just put it behind Poliwag. Let's get them all together. Simple. Effective. <laughs> Alright, Abra. Abra's, Abra's B. And pretty high B. Probably, yeah, just... Probably just in front of what we just did. Yeah, just behind Jigglypuff, and then Kadabra and Alakazam, they're, they're higher. Um, Alakazam's like not my favorite Pokemon, but it's, it's certainly one that 
I always appreciate to use because of how strong it is. But I don't often have one, especially in the older games where you can't trade because you need to you know, trade your Kadabra to evolve into Alakazam, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is, that mechanic. So, Alak um, Kadabra, uh, I'll just put it just above Abra. Then Alakazam, yeah, I'll just put it in front. Oh, yeah, just put it in front there. Just keep them together like there. The Pokemon that I quite like, but I don't really have like, when they evolve, I'm like, oh, that's so much better. I don't have um, really distinct feelings, but it gets better as it goes along, I feel. Then Machop, Machoke, and Machamp. Pokemon that I like using, they don't like um, tickle a feeling inside of me, but I, I really uh, invoke some emotion. Machop, I always like the episode with like the Primeape episode when there's like an actual like wrestling event going on. I remember Machop from that. So that was, that was always fun. I might put him in B. Honestly, probably like above Alakazam and his evolution. Gonna maybe Machoke as well. We'll do Machoke just behind. I'll probably put them in order actually. I feel like I prefer them less as uh, time goes along. Bellsprout. I like, I quite like Bellsprout. But we're gonna put him in C tier just to, just to even some of this out because I don't feel as strong. Oh, I've got like Mankey in here at the bottom of B. I feel like I prefer it than Mankey. I prefer it more than Clefairy too. Yeah, actually, no, now I'm thinking about it, it's probably pretty high up. It's probably up near Oddish, which is near the start, to be honest. We're gonna go behind Pidgey here. We're gonna go behind Pidgey. And then for Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell could be probably just behind. And then Victory Bell, really like Victory Bell. So I'm gonna put it in A. Um, behind Vileplume, I prefer Vileplume. Yeah, pretty high for me. Tentacle, I don't mind Tentacle, but I, yeah, don't feel too emotional about it. Um, I do love Tentacruel though, so we'll work out where, we'll go Tentacruel first, just to work out where I want it to be. B and B somewhere, I prefer it, I honestly prefer it to Ninetales here, which might be a controversial take, I don't know. <laughs> prefer it to there. Probably just behind Oddish in front of Meowth. I think that's a good place for it. I really like Tentacruel. In the Pokemon anime, like the original opening, there was the section where like Tentacruel just like smashes the building. I was like, oh, I cannot wait to watch that, that episode. That looks nuts. And then it was like, you know, with like the massive Tentacruel coming in from the ocean and destroying the, <laughs> destroying the land and like taking Meowth as his communication device with humans and stuff. It was uh, kind of nuts. But I always enjoy using Tentacruel in the games as well, even like, Generation 3 where, you know, there's too much water in those games. So, uh, there was plenty of Tentacruel to find. <laughs> but yeah, Tentacruel's cool. But Tentacruel. Where does Tentacruel go? Into C tier somewhere. Pretty high though. I'm going to put it above Diglett. Um, behind there. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Judo can go into B. And he can be high up in B. I prefer him to Jigglypuff, so you can go up there and then Graveler, Graveler. Graveler and Golem are actually pretty low, to be honest. Uh, put Graveler like at the bottom of C. And Golem can go a little, maybe, maybe just in front of Graveler. Yeah, I, I like them, but I don't love them. Ponyta and Rapidash, really cool. I love these, love the, some of the best shinies. Whenever I think about it, like, oh, what's your favorite shiny? Uh, these Pokemon pop up, the, the beautiful blue flames. So let's have a look. We'll put them in B, <laughs> just above Jigglypuff. <laughs> I feel like Rapidash is just, just above Ponytail there. All right, we've got Slow Poke and Slow Bro. And I think a good place for these two would be just behind, just behind Ekans in front of Zubat. I prefer slow poke to slow bro. We'll put them in order there. We've got Magnemite and uh, Magneton. I quite like these guys actually. And uh, th this is another episode of the Pokemon anime which I remember fondly as well. So maybe a bit of bias from just like watching their personalities and that on that show. But for this, I think we can go C tier. Oh, B tier. No, we'll put it in B tier. I, I prefer these to a lot of these in here. Uh, 
<laughs> I always like looking like the Jigglypuff seems like a bit of a divider there for B, so we can go B. And then we can go, we'll go after Jigglypuff. And put Magneton just above Magnemite. That seems like a good place to be. And we've got Do Duo and Do Trio. And uh, I, I loved this episode of the, the Pokemon anime where um, Ash races on Rapidash against, I forgot what his name was, but he raced on a Do, Do Trio. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna go Doduo, I'm gonna go like C tier, relatively high though, probably like, yeah, probably like above, just behind Diglett, we're gonna split up Dugtrio and Diglett, and then Dugtrio, I'll put him at like the bottom of B, very bottom of B, behind Mankey, and we got Farfetch'd, Farfetch'd, especially like, you know, the Cantonian version doesn't evolve into anything, for many years until we got an evolution, just, yeah. Don't know, I'm gonna put him in D. I feel like I prefer some of these in C. Gotta fill up D a little bit. <laughs> and Seal and Dugon. Yeah, this is gonna be a good bit to fill up D too. I, I couldn't care less about these guys. Seal was, I mean, Dugon was always uh, a good imagery from the Cerulean Gym in the anime just because you always saw it one there, but apart from that, like, it's not the only emotion I've got when I think about those Pokemon. So we've got Grima and Muck. I like these guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in B. I'm gonna put them, I'm mostly gonna put them in front. I'm gonna put them in front of like a chop and all those, all that one. I prefer Muck. I prefer Muck to Magnemite in that too. I prefer it to, um, Jigglypuff? No, probably not. I'll put them in, in there. Shelter and Cloyster. I, I I thought Cloyster was always like, it was always mysterious to me. Like, it has that, like, that cool angry look. It has like Gengar's face, which is kind of cool. Uh, so Cloyster can be in B somewhere. Honestly, at the bottom of B. And then Shelda can be around the middle of C somewhere, I would imagine. I prefer Shelda to Venomoth, and I probably don't prefer it to what's in front there, so I think that's um, sort of a good list there. Yeah, not, not to do that, we'll put it in front of Venomoth. So that looks good to me. We got Ghastly and Haunter and Gengar. These guys are very high up. All right, let's, let's go with Gengar, because I feel more passionately about Gengar than the other two. Um, Gengar is an A tier for me. Not one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, but I really like Gengar. I think it's just exceptionally cool. I don't know how you could possibly feel any other way if you're a Pokemon fan. So, yes, definitely. But it's definitely above uh, Victory, Victory Bell and Vileplume. Pidgeotto. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, probably just behind Butterfree for me, honestly. Prefer these other two. But Squirtle and some of these other starter Pokemon. Yeah, I can I can give them up to, to Gengar, that's for sure. Then Haunter. Mm, Haunter's pretty cool, but into the B category. Be at the start somewhere. I prefer Oddish to these two. So we'll go, honestly, I prefer Ghastly. Then we'll go Haunter. Don't know why, just that's how I feel <laughs> when I look at them. Onyx, Onyx is a, a B tier for me. I'm gonna put it towards the, where would Onyx go? I like Onyx, but I can't really say I have some emotional <laughs> connection to it. When I think about it, Steelix is really cool, but we're not thinking about Steelix right now. We're gonna put it just behind Ponyta. But Drowsy and Hypno. Mm. Towards the bottom of C. I like these Pokemon, but that yeah, I don't really feel too passionate about them. Um, cool episode of the anime though. Bringing in those kids, being a bit creepy. It was a weird episode. 
We've got Weedle like up here in C. Where is Weedle? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go Hypno like just before Weedle. And then Drowsy can go like just in front of Rattata. So yeah, down a little bit from his evolution. Krabby and Kingla. I've always had a real, so I remember I had a, like a real soft spot for Krabby when I was a kid. <laughs> Probably like a bit of the anime as well, but there was, there's definitely, I remember I had like a Digimon Tamagotchi and I had a crab at some point. So like for some reason, I really loved having cra digital crabs. Do I really care about crabs in real life? Not really. <laughs> but there's something endearing about these Pokemon. So I'm going to put Krabby like at the, can't put him. I'm gonna put Krabby like behind Oddish in B tier. <laughs> I looked at A, I'm like, I can't put him in A. I can't put him with like those other Pokemon. And then honestly, Kingler. Kingler is like, yeah, Kingler just behind it. So that's how I feel about Kingler. Kingler's pretty cool. Uh, we got Voltorb and Electrode. Uh, these Pokemon, I, I really like these Pokemon the mimics of the Pokemon world, which is cool. You know, when you click on a Pokeball, they're just there to make sure that you <laughs> don't know what you're gonna get. You might be getting a wild encounter and not the item that you really need. So, uh, let's go. I'm gonna put them either high B or A, at least one of them. All right, I'm gonna put Electrode above Vileplume in A. Really like it. Um, Voltorb I like less. I'm gonna put him just before Meowth after Haunter. I feel like that's a good way to go. Execute. Well, yeah, this was like a Pokemon that stood out as well. I love like these angry sort of attitude inducing eyes on these like original Pokemon. So like, I prefer Execute because it's got like all those emotions. Um, also very, like a very strange Pokemon, just like a group of eggs. Makes no sense, like, I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in B somewhere. A little bit strange, I know. Towards the bottom though, I'm gonna put it like at the very bottom of B. Executor. I don't really have too much to say about this Pokemon. So we put it in C. And we put it just behind Nido King in front of Arbok. So obviously got a bit of love for it. Actually, I can't put it in front of Arbok. Put it just in front of, in front of Slowpoke. Yeah, I feel better about that. So I can't put it in front of Arbok. I really like Arbok. Then we got Cubone and Marowak. Cubone, big part of the like Pokemon lore, Pokemon story. So I've got the Pokemon Tower and everything. It's involved, it's mother dying. Very moving. It's in B tier. So just behind uh, Weeping Bell in front of Geodude. Marowak, Marowak can go into C somewhere. I prefer it than Exeggutor, so we'll put it in front of Exeggutor, just where we went before. Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan, we didn't know it at the time, but yes, they are related. So let's do them both in the same grouping here. Um, I prefer Hitmon Lee, always been a Hitmon Lee man. Into, yeah, into B, I'm gonna put it just behind Grimer. Where's Grimer? Yeah, there it is. Put it just there, then hit on Chan, into C tier. And it might be relatively high, just cause it is a cool Pokemon, but yeah, it's never been my favorite. We've got Lickitung. Lickitung is also C, just behind Clefable. I think that's a good place for him. Then we've got Coughing. Coughing, one of the most infectious ways of uh, Pokemon says its name, like Coughing. Just that, uh, yeah, great. So whenever we, any, anybody says like, I'm having a coffee, I'm always like, Coughing. Um, yeah, that's just how my brain works for whatever reason. <laughs> so we'll go, go high B. Yeah, well, actually very high B. I'm gonna put it above Ghastly. Relatively similar Pokemon. Weezing, not quite as much. It's Weezing, Weezing. So yeah, it's a Pokemon called Weezing. I guess it has to sound like it's Weezing. But it's just like, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> um, 
Weezing's B as well, I think. Around mid B. And just because I guess they evoke similar thoughts in my brain. I'm gonna put it like just behind Muck in front of Grama. Let's split those bad boys up. Cool man. Then we got Rhydon and uh, yeah, Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Right on can go bottom or towards the bottom. We're gonna put it just I'm gonna put it above cloister. And right horn probably a bit higher, I would imagine. Behind well, Nino Queen seems like a good place to put it behind. I don't like it as much as like these others, but I do like it. And Rhyperia in generation four. Hated that first, but it grew on me. So we'll try that. Got Chansey. Chansey can also towards the bottom of B. I probably prefer it to a few of these as we go up. Yeah, probably prefer. Yeah, just something, just something after right on. Right horn. Um, then we've got Tangler. Tangler. Uh, we'll just go C and we will. We're gonna put it pretty high up here. Yeah, we'll put it above Do, Do Duo. If I can put it there, yep, there we go. Then we got Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan, that was a great episode of the Pokemon anime. And, uh, and was it Pokemon X Y, the Mega Evolution, which I guess doesn't really count right now. Um, it became a menace, being able to attack twice <laughs> in one turn. So let's... What's the bottom of B? Yeah, I reckon it, it, it takes place of like Nido Queen in my mind. I prefer these other Pokemon in front of it, so that seems like a good place for it. Horsey and Seedra. I'm actually big fans of these guys. I think they need to go up here, honestly, into A. Really like these guys. Um, and Kingdra in Generation 2, one of my... Yeah, probably an A tier for me too, honestly, when it evolves. Almost one of my favourite Pokemon, very top of A. It's going to be very, very high up when I do Generation 2. Goldeen and... Um, sea King. Yeah, they can go down in D. I don't... Goldeen, oh, I don't know. I don't hate them. No, the bottom, just the bottom of C. Probably in that order too. Staryu and Starmie. Oh, let's go. I don't know. They, they hold a special place in my heart. Maybe it's the whole, like, whoops. Maybe it's the whole, like, Misty thing. I don't know. Probably. It's, uh, yeah, just a uh, yeah, great Pokemon. What order, though? Would I put them above anything else here? Yeah, I put them above. I put, like, Starmie. Just maybe a fun little electrode there. Staryu can go like a little bit, yeah, oh, yeah, it can stay there, the bottom of A, that's probably a pretty good place, I don't know why I feel so passionate about those two, but yeah, I quite like them. Mr. Mime, I don't know, I don't really care, bottom of C, do, I don't hate it that much. Um, Cypher, Cypher's an awesome Pokemon. Top of B, honestly, let's do that. Top of B. Yeah, behind um, Venusaur, I think it's a good place for it. Jinx, uh, no, I don't really like Jinx. Jinx can go D. Electro Buzz in C tier. On the top line, probably. Just behind Ekans, I think. Same, Pinsa, oh, sorry, Magma. Probably like it a bit less when Electabuzz. Mm, a fair bit less actually. Electabuzz can go just in front of Hypno. Tauros. Tauros is a similar Pokemon for me. Um, that's how I feel about it. Probably a bit a bit higher than Magma though. I'll probably I prefer it than Lickitung Clefable. I put it just above Clefable behind. Goldark. Then we've got Pinsir. 
Yeah, I think Pinsa can just go in front of Electabuzz here. Seems like a good place to put it. <laughs> then we got Magikarp and Gyarados. I like I like these. I like these guys. Oh look, Gyarados has to be probably an A for me. Just stick it up there. And Magikarp, I don't hate Magikarp, it's just it's, it's a funny Pokemon, so be below Gyarados for me, but I think B, honestly, would be a good place for it. I'm just gonna put it at the bottom of B. B is looking pretty, B is looking strong. Then we got, ooh, okay, so we've got Lapras here. Lapras is going to B. Lol jokes. Straight to A, I love Lapras, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Um, but we just gotta decide, is it, is it my favorite Pokemon out of what we've got here at the moment? So we've got Lapras, Pikachu, Charizard, um, Charmander, Arcanine, Pidgeot, and Caterpie. Yes, yes I think it is. My favorite Pokemon so far. Love Lapras so much. Um, every single playthrough, always get one when you, you know you raid Team Rocket, you get given one. I wish it wasn't so late in the game, but it is what it is. Next up, we've got the Eevee Evolutions. These are going to be high. I can't imagine them not being an A, to be honest. Yeah, they, they definitely are, so let me move them up there. <laughs> such a such a process to get them up here now. Because <laughs> my list has become so big. So I guess it's just about where they rank in here. So um, Eevee would definitely be high. Very high actually. So Eevee just be like behind Squirtle. Jolteon. I really like Jolteon. Jolteon is very high up as well. He'd be in front of Squirtle, Jolteon. Vaporeon might even be S. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so, probably. I haven't really thought about like a, yeah, like a Vaporeon being one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, but certainly when I'm looking at it here, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that. But then Flareon, Flareon's definitely my least favorite out of these. Um, and I actually don't, I prefer some of these ones in B tier more, a lot of them actually. So I'll probably drop Flareon all the way down to just above Meowth. Oops, there we go. So yeah, cool. We're almost getting there guys. Then we got Porygon, Porygon into B tier. Lol, jokes. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I don't know if this is a, a weird take, but I love Porygon. I love him so much because as a kid, it was just so special, like grinding up all those coins at the game corner to get Porygon. He was so expensive. It literally took us like weeks in real time to actually just like grind um, enough money to be able to buy the coins. So all of his evolution lines are you know, some of my favorites with Porygon 2 and then Porygon Z. Love Porygon Z. Um, but I just got to decide where it's ranked alongside Lapras and Pikachu. Um, not quite sure. I have to be behind Lapras and Pikachu for sure. It's just, it's only like with a Char Charizard's ahead. Honestly, no. I won't even put it ahead of Pikachu. I don't know. I'll bug it just to. <laughs> I'm gonna put him above Pikachu. I love Porygon, his whole line. So with Pikachu, it's just you know, it's just Pikachu. So yeah, Porygon, my second favorite. <laughs> I love Porygon so much. We got Ditto. Ditto's great. Uh, into A. It's like a super unique Pokemon even like throughout all these years. Be at the bottom of A. Uh, no, no it won't be. It'll be, it'll be like above Star Year, I think. That'd be a good place for it. Got Omanite and Omastar. Uh, B, pretty cool. Like them. Where in B though? I'm 
gonna split up Polyrath from its family. I'm gonna put him in between them. Probably in that order. So probably just, you know, just stir it up a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put um, Omastar a little bit lower. Prefer it than Kangaskhan. Yeah, about there, in front of Sandslash. Kabuto and Kaboo Tops. Never really cared about these. These can go and see. I don't really, really care about them. Kaboo Tops gonna go pretty high in C though. Um, above Pinsa, I feel. And I'm a knight. Just probably behind Golem. Yeah, we'll do that. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's awesome Pokemon. Best fossil by far. Aerodactyl has to go into A and uh, probably pretty high up. Just behind Eevee even. In front of uh, the uh, middle evolution starters there. Snorlax. Snorlax is uh, at the top here too. Uh, would it be S? It'd be very close to S. Oh, it's got to be an S. S tier. Um, really love Snorlax. Um, and I'll put it above Pidgeot there too, just behind Arcanine. We're on to the uh, legendaries and the pseudo legendary. Um, Articuno, really love Articuno. i um, got to put it into A tier, just behind Aerodactyl. And um, it would be the same, sim very similar with. Zapdos as well. Zapdos was my favorite out of all of these. Um, it's probably ahead of Articuno. Yeah. Yeah, Zapdos is going to be very high up actually. It's going to be just behind Gengar. That's great. Um, Moltres, my least favorite. Into B. Um, don't hate it, but yeah, not as high up as a lot of these other ones. And Moltres can even go behind a fair few of them, actually. Um, just in front of Cubone. So that's the legendary birds. Got Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Dragonite, um, we're gonna put him into, yeah, probably gonna put most of these into B, I think. Um, Dratini was, I prefer him to a fair few of these. Just behind Pidgey. Dragonair, no, similar thing. And Dragonite. Pretty silly looking Pokemon. It's weird how like the evolution line just does not look like he should have evolved into what he did. Um, but I don't mind Dragonite, but probably it's gotta be. Yeah, we'll, we'll put him we'll put him with his family, just behind Dratini. Alright, then we got Mewtwo and Mew. Mewtwo is a wicked Pokemon. I don't know. It'd be an A. Same with Mew, probably. Um, whether, whether that's the rarity talking to me, I'm not quite sure. But I really like these Pokemon. I'll put Pretherium and Blastoise. So I can see the line there. Pretherium to Articuno. Aerodactyl, probably not. So we'll put, put him there, and Mew would be like a bit lower for me, I think. I prefer Mew than Blastoise. This, yeah, Blastoise seems to be like a good barometer for me with these two Pokemon. And uh, that's it. That's all of uh, the Pokemon ranked. That's all of them, and uh, the light's changed a lot since I first started. But we finally have our listing for all of these Pokemon, and I think I've got them in order. So that does us for now, guys. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite Pokemon are and um, what I got wrong in my listing, because I'm sure there's some differing opinions out there, but that's all fine. But um, until next time, guys, have a great day and happy gaming.